Welcome to the show. You're listening to Ross Harper on Adja. This is my weekly show. I'm currently presenting a three-part special of tracks from my Ambient Girl albums. This is from the third... Um, this is celebrating the third album, which is released tomorrow, Friday the 20th of September. The album's called Knocked Back Hard. We're currently listening to Spears from the first Ambient Girl album of the same title. The first Ambient Girl album is called Ambient Girl. Um, and this is Spheres. You could call this music kind of meditation music or um, listening music, easy listening music, study music. It's good to kind of breathe to and stretch to. Thank you. 
Okay, this one's called Through the Ocean, and this is um, on the album, the new album, Knocked Back Hard, and actually it's the first track in the album, so this is a real treat if you're listening live, because um, not many people would have heard this, and it goes out tomorrow on all the streaming platforms, so if you want to go along to my Spotify profile or my Apple Music profile, and follow the profile, then you'll get these tracks uh, when they're first released. This one's called Balances, Balances, and it's from the first album, Ambient Girl. Thank you. 
So we just came out of Balances. That was from the first Ambient Girl album. And we're now into Dark Granite, which is from the new album, uh, which is released tomorrow. And um, while this one plays, I'm going to share the story because each of these albums is based on a short story that I've written. And um, there's also corresponding artwork by Eva Troy, who's a world-renowned contemporary classical oil painter. And she's done a, a, a painting of each Ambient Girl story. And um, so the story for Knocked Back Hard, that's the album that's released tomorrow, um, the Ambient Girl, she finds herself um, at the sea, uh, down on a beach at the sea and um, she's just kind of playing at the water's edge and um, suddenly the waves start to um, become tumultuous and fierce and um, they rise up and knock her back uh, strongly in a kind of wild way she gets flung up the beach by these by this wild storm by these by these powerful waves and uh, it's completely unexpected and uh, quite shocking um, and meanwhile um, the man of light he's the other character the man of light is sitting on a rock nearby on the headland so uh, at, at this beach there's there's a beautiful piece of headland and there's these little rocks that stick out, uh, dark granite rocks. And um, the um, man of light is just sitting on one of them, watching uh, this violent act unfold uh, against the ambient girl. And um, uh, he's not hes not angry, really. He's not angry about it. He's... Um, uh, kind of undisturbed by it actually he's just watching and then he stands up off the rock and um, walks over to the sea and holds up his right hand and he says to the sea move out of my way move out of my way at which point all of the kind of storm and the waves, they all just kind of like stop and everything goes calm. And then a path appears through the sea and there's a light at the end of the path. So that is the third Ambient Girl story for Knocked Back Hard. I'm going to share a few more Ambient Girl tracks. We're going into Guiding Light now. Uh, this is from the third album that goes out tomorrow. So we're now into guiding light, guiding light. Thank <laughs> you. 
is one of my personal favorites, although I've got soft spots for a lot of these tracks. I do particularly like the first Ambient Girl album. Uh, so this one's from the first Ambient Girl album, it's called Rushing. Um, I also uh, do like the album that's going out tomorrow. Uh, there's a lot of good vibes in that one. Uh, the middle one, Tower of Light, um, I do like, um, but I feel like I might want to remaster it at some point. Um, and um, But there's three tracks in particular on Tower of Light that stand out to me as particularly epic and beautiful. Uh, so I'll play some of those a little bit later. Uh, Brave, Midnight Lake and Night Stars. Uh, all kind of very uh, epic, uh, trippy journey vibes on those. Anyway, here's Rushing. Thank you. 
Okay, so that was rushing. And we're now into, as promised, a track from the Tower of Light album. This one's called Brave. Okay, that was Brave from the Tower of Light. And we're now into Midnight Lake, also from the Tower of Light. And you'll probably feel you'll feel how um, this how brave and Midnight Lake, well hopefully you'll feel 
um, and the one I play after this called Night Stars, how they all kind of fit together as part of a kind of trilogy of tracks. And uh, I was originally inspired by that uh, from the Prodigy album, Music for the Jilted Generation. And the last three tracks on those were named the Narcotic Suite because they were supposedly encapsulated the feelings of uh, taking ecstasy from the kind of uh, coming up to the high and then to the low afterwards. Um, and um, so I liked that kind of uh, journey over three tracks. And so I did a similar thing with these three tracks, although I didn't base it on taking ecstasy. Um, but I thought I would share while we listen to Midnight Lake uh, I thought I would share the Tower of Light story. So I shared the knocked back hard story. I thought I would share the Tower of Light story. Um, so um, this is, I think, probably my favorite story, maybe. I really like it, okay. Um, so the ambient girl, she's kind of on this journey um, and she gets to this big lake and it's late at night, it's dark, it's late at night. There's only uh, moon and stars to provide light. And um, she gets to, uh, the, the, the only way to cross the lake is uh, there's like a small boat and in the boat is the boatman, the boatman, the boatman. Um, and he's a bit of a sinister character. He's wearing a big cloak and he's got a hood covering his face. Um, in the first ambient girl story which I haven't told you she has a, a cloak and a hood covering her face uh, but in this one uh, the um, uh, the boatman is wearing a cloak and a hood covering his face so she kind of bravely gets into the boat because it's the only way to get across the lake and she wants to carry on her journey she wants to go across the lake and she gives the boatman um, well the boatman starts to row her across the lake uh, and he does a very good job of it although he looks rather sinister and probably like someone you shouldn't trust he he actually is trustworthy and he um, kind of very methodically and calmly rows her across the lake and they get to the other side and she disembarks um, and turns to him to give him some money to pay him for his service. Um, and she actually, at this point, does quite a strange thing. She holds out her hand and says, are you not going to come with me on the rest of my journey? At which point, in kind of dark tones, uh, the boatman says, do you know what you're asking? Do you understand what you're asking? And um, she, she doesn't reply in words, but she holds out her hand again. And um, at which point he removes the hood of his cloak and transforms into a pillar of light, a tower of light, which reaches from the highest heavens right to the earth itself and is arcing colors in every direction into all of the creation all around and um, that's the end of the tower of light story
Okay, so this one is the third track from that little uh, trilogy from the second album, Power of Light, and it's called Night Stars.
and this one is Watery Pillar, Watery Pillar, and it's from the first Ambient Go album. Okay, this one's Loving Kindness. It's from the album that goes out tomorrow, Knocked Back Hard. I'm going to finish with three tracks from Knocked Back Hard. Uh, So this is Loving Kindness. So the last 10 or so minutes of the show will all be tracks from the new album that goes out tomorrow.
So I'm actually going to be doing a little Ambient Girl UK tour uh, in spring next year. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. The idea is to um, hold the events in ancient churches. Uh, the UK has lots of ancient churches, many of them built on the old pagan or druid sites. And uh, so I want to uh, use some of those empty spaces, a lot of them aren't used anymore, uh, to um, hold ambient girl listening parties or ecstatic dance parties where people can just kind of uh, float around listening to ambient girl music. Okay, this one's called Promise, Promise, and it's from the new album going out tomorrow. Um, I thought I'd say a few words about um, where I wrote this album that goes out tomorrow. So um, it was it first started um, during COVID in um, a, a town called Newquay in Cornwall. And I was particularly drawn to Newquay. I used to go there as a teenager and I felt drawn to go back there. Um, and um, particularly by a story, I won't share the whole story, about a surfer called Carl Edwards, who sadly, tragically lost his life as a lifeguard on one of the beaches in Newquay. And not the beach that inspired the um, Knocked Back Hard album, but a, a beach around the corner from there. Uh, and he tragically died during a landslide on a very rainy, rainy afternoon. One of the cliffs collapsed onto his lifeguard hut and he died. And that just really made me think about how we need to really live our lives. Uh, he did live his life. He was a very um, active um, soul. Uh, who, who came from Australia and ended up living in Newquay as a lifeguard for a bit. Uh, anyway, inspirational Carl Edwards. And um, so I made a trip to Newquay um, 
I didn't actually intend on starting the album. I just wanted to go on a bit of a pilgrimage there. So I used to go there as a teenager. I read this story about Carl Edwards and decided, yeah, I should go back to Newquay. And it really changed dramatically. Lots of new buildings. Um, where I actually started writing this album, a cafe, uh, didn't even exist when I used to go there back in the 90s. They've built like a huge kind of surf um, building on Fistral Beach, which is the beach that did inspire this album, Fistral Beach. And uh, so I sat in that cafe and um, drank lattes probably or um, coffee and wrote the album um, or just kind of chilled out and ate pizza and wrote the album. Uh, I write a lot of these ambient girl tracks on an iPad in a very cool program by Korg who make a lot of synthesizers and drum machines. Um, so yeah, there I sat and I started the album and um, I ended up back there earlier this year to finish the album. Um, I like to take my time on the ambient girl tracks. Um, I find them particularly kind of calming and healing and meditative to listen to. Um, and that's the kind of point of these ambient tracks that they are not like a lot of people might know about the techno that I play. I love playing techno, um, but I also love meditation and yoga and chill out stuff um, like essential oils and burning incense and things like that. So um, I guess these tracks reflect my meditative deeper side. Although my techno also has a meditative deeper side, albeit with a harder edge. Okay, so here it is, the last track of the show, and it is Knocked Back Hard, the title track from that third album that goes out tomorrow. So this is Knocked Back Hard from Knocked Back Hard by me, Ross Harper. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed listening to these deeper, ambient, experimental, electronica tracks. about me on my website rossharper.xyz also um, you can find me on social media Ross Harper Music uh, come and have a chat if you want DM me or comment on some of my posts where I talk about some of the things that inspire my music and um, some of these stories that I write Thank you. 